Hey guys, Tracy Morgan here, and I am the Director of Operations and Programming for the St. Louis Art Fair. And today we have printmaker John Costin here, and he is one of our participating 2020 virtual St. Louis Art Fair artists uh, presented by Centene Charitable Foundation. Hey John, how are you? Pretty good, how are you doing, Tracy? I'm all right, I'm all right, can't complain. Life That's is good. 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 So um, how have you been holding up during this time? What you been doing? Doing pretty, doing pretty good. You know, it's uh, a little warm here in Florida at times, and uh, I have to watch out for the hurricanes. But otherwise, you know, things are doing all right. That's Can't good. Complain. So is a lot of your work inspired by where you live? Or tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, birds are my main subject matter. And Florida is noted for such a wide variety of birds. Uh, here, even in my yard, I have probably 10 different species that uh, visit me on a regular basis. Uh, there's probably some house finches out there right now attacking my bird feeder. They're like little piglets. I, I have to refill the feeder every four days for those guys. Uh, but, you know, because there's so many birds here it, and it's my subject matter, I have the opportunity to go out and study these birds in the, in the field and see them. So that's one of the bonuses of living here in Florida. That's amazing. Uh, that's amazing. So tell me a little bit of the process behind your printmaking because in look like in looking at your work, like the intricate detail is amazing. So tell me a little bit about that process. Well, first I uh, decide on what bird I'm going to create because these pieces take months to do. Then I study them in great detail. I take thousands of photographs. Uh, I organize my photographs in an external hard drive. And so when I want to revisit those images because they're organized, it's easy for me to have access to them. I'll study the detail. I don't work directly from photographs. Okay. I use those as reference for detail, anatomy, things like that. Uh, the poses, and, uh, and I usually create the environments for those or from my own experiences out in the field studying these birds. Uh, and for me, that's part of the art, putting that together and, and creating this sort of theater setting slash environment for these birds that I think complement their their uh, physical nature, you know, and then so it makes the images impressive when you see them. So I'm currently working on a roadrunner. We don't have roadrunners in uh, Florida, but uh, but I'd seen some out west when I was out there, and I was so impressed by the bird that I I, I wanted to make a roadrunner. So awesome. as a matter of fact, you have you're starting to get roadrunners in the southwest corner of Missouri now. They're, move, they're moving up, the range is expanding, so. I would uh, love to see one because I've only seen them in cartoons. <laughs> uh, sure. In sure, well, they're, they're kind of like a cultural icon, I guess, because uh -huh. all of us that grew up watching cartoons on Saturday mornings generally remember the Roadrunner, beep beep, yes. you know, the uh, Wile E. Coyote in their, uh, their confrontations, so. <laughs> and they were pretty, uh, pretty comical, so I have to say sure. that. So tell me about your customers. Do you ever have customers that say, hey, John, I love this specific type of bird. Can you do this for you, draw this for me or paint this for me? I do commissions occasionally. Uh, I, I stay away from actually doing an etching as a commission because there's so much time invested to do that just to make one piece. Uh, just wouldn't be very time effective. I put a lot of time into my work, so. Okay. Uh, but, I, you know, occasionally I'll have somebody wanting a specific bird, then I'll do a watercolor of it. If it oh, seems beautiful. Works. I do watercolors, too. Amazing. All right, all right. And so during this time, like, what have you done to keep your audience or your customers engaged? Uh, well, the social media, partially, as I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, started working uh, an Instagram account and contacting some of my customers that way. And I'm slowly uh, building a group of videos that I want to put on my website. And then I want to turn around and, and contact a lot of my customers so they can actually see these videos. Because a lot of them have never been to the studio. And when somebody visits the studio and they actually see how the pieces are made, they're, they're absolutely impressed. They hardly ever walk out of the studio without buying something. They, they don't have a clue of what goes into these pieces. Uh -huh. 
So the videos give me an opportunity to share that with my customers, clients. Well, that is awesome. So that is great. That is great. So kind of tell us what artwork we can expect to see. What can we see? What are you providing for us for the fair? Uh, etchings and uh, some new pieces. I'm always working. I mean, that's I'm a perpetual worker. I uh, just finished a Roadrunner. I finished the Painted Bunting. I'm doing a series of songbirds, small songbirds. And uh, those are probably the pieces that you'll see along with some of my other pieces. I don't make a lot of work because they're so time consuming. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll, I'll be lucky to do uh, half a dozen etchings all year because and they're that, very late intense. And that makes them all the more special, you know? It's like having an exclusive piece. You're not able to get so much work out, but you put so much work into the piece that you've done. Exactly. And you know, when I do a piece, I, you know, sometimes I feel like, well, you know, I'm working on a Roadrunner. I probably never get a chance to do a Roadrunner again because there's so many other birds I want to do. So when I do that particular bird, I throw everything into it, knowing that this is probably the only time I'll have an opportunity to make this bird. So I try to perfect it and really do the be absolute best job that I can do when I create this piece because it's, it, might, it might be my only opportunity to make that bird, so. All right, all right. So, and in, are you normally, do you normally participate in a lot of art fairs? I know with everything that's kind of going on, um, that's kind of slowed down or pretty much come to a halt. So, you know, being able to participate in, maybe in a virtual fair, like what does that mean to you? Does it inspire you more? Does it help? Like, how does, that, how does it work for you? Well, I'm not sure you know, how it's going to work for me yet till after it's over with. Uh, I, I think it is an opportunity and um, I'm definitely going to try to take advantage of that and use the different platforms available, displaying my work through, through that format. I don't do that many art shows. Okay. And I do maybe, uh, maybe 10 shows a year. I'm real picky about the shows that I participate in and your show is one of the better ones. So. Hey, thank you. <laughs> That's a, it's a two day drive for me to come out there, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and that's, and that's the only show I do. I don't travel out there and do, do five shows in a row and then come back to Florida. I don't do that. I'm, I'm real picky on the shows that I do. So I try to, uh, you know, take advantage of that. And, then, and also I'm a birder. So when I travel, I plan my day out where usually in the morning, wherever I'm at, I'll go birding for two or three hours on the road you know, visit different parks or different environments that I normally don't have a chance to visit while I'm in Florida. Yeah. And I get a chance to see uh, species that, uh, that I wouldn't see here, like outside of uh, St. Louis, just to the west. There's a uh, maybe bush recreation area or something like that. Just, just west of the city, there's a large park there and uh, goldfinches and indigo buntings. I mean, there's, there's a lot of like birds I'll, I'll get a chance to see there that I won't get a chance to see in Florida, so. That's great. Well, John, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been amazing speaking with you. I'm so excited to see the pieces that you'll provide for the fair. Well, thank you very much. And uh, I'm excited about doing it. You know, it's, um, I'm looking forward to it. Very good, we hope it's fruitful for you. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. And guys, make sure you check out uh, John and our other artists. We have about 120 more Art Fair Weekend, and it'll be held September 11th, 12th, and 13th on our website at www.stlouisartfair.com. We'll see you guys. <laughs>